Marley was dead to begin with. There is no doubt whatever about that. The register of his, of his burial was signed by the clergyman, the clerk, the undertaker and the chief mourner. Scrooge signed it. Old Marley was as dead as a doornail. Scrooge knew he was dead. Of course he did. How could it be otherwise? Scrooge and he were partners for I don't know how many years. Scrooge was his sole executor, his sole administrator, his sole assign, his sole friend, his sole mourner. Scrooge never painted out old Marley's name, however. There it yet stood, years afterwards, above the warehouse door, Scrooge and Marley. The firm was known as Scrooge and Marley, and sometimes people new to the business called Scrooge, Scrooge, and sometimes they called him Marley. But he answered to both names. It was all the same to him.